totally thank for your reviews and remarkable comments so today's topic is going to be physics and archaeology you may wonder why suddenly we are going to a very old topic namely archaeology all my youtube videos are exhibiting the importance of physics with various areas like in my previous videos i have spoke about physics and spiritualism physics and philosophy and today's topic is going to be physics and archaeology in what way physics is playing a important role in archaeology so first let me briefly explain about archaeology so what is archaeology archaeology is a study of human life from the materials so just by studying about the objects and materials we can analyze how humans have lived how they had like cultured in what way their civilization had taken place this is here in fact material science engineering is playing a very important role because only from the materials being excavated from the civilization we are able to understand their lifestyle their traditional ways of you know uh, habit habituation and all that The oldest ever civilization known for us is the Indus Valley civilization. It was supposed to be five thousand years ago. That's what people earlier they were uh, declaring, and they were saying that it is like five thousand years ago. We had a very famous civilization, best ever civilization known as the Indus Valley civilization. But now, recently, in I scientists from IIT Kharagpur have demonstrated that. Indus Valley civilization is even the more older than we thought it is around 8800 years ago and in fact it could be comparable with the uh, mesopotamian civilization and the famous ancient egyptian civilization so why suddenly people started giving so much of importance for archaeology you may wonder that is my, that is that could be that is going to be your next question but well very well i to answer your query i say that we we now in this period we started giving importance to our ancestors the ancient life so we started avoiding plastics we understood what is important for our human life so we started going for more organic materials and we are, we are avoiding plastics we are saving the soil we are saving the water and we are giving importance for farming so these are all some oldest ancient technologies that we are giving now prime importance to this is a very good social awareness happening to all of us so which means archaeology will also one time will have a very prime important role in our human life so archaeology study is going to going to become even the more demanding who knows so in near future people might opt more for archaeology right so this indus valley civilization what i was talking about why i am talking about indus valley civilization particularly because from the asians famous civilization is that and there is a, in the recent year in around 2017 18 we would all have heard about the kiradi civilization in tamil nadu so in the south tamil nadu there was an excavation happening by the archaeologist from the archaeological survey of india and they had excavated the site near madurai and they it is a place called kiradi so from kiradi what are the findings if you ask the findings are nothing but we found it is supposed to be even like you know the 2000 3000 years ago whatever the uh, whatever the in the human civilization we were able to study that and the find there were like around 10000 artifacts been excavated from kiradi civilization on studying about on studying the material samples people understood that there are ancient form of tamil script namely tamil brahmi script was identified and graffiti script even in internet you can actually type this and find out it is a ancient form of script used in the ancient uh, tamil language so these scripts were found in the 48 uh, pot sherds that were excavated from the kiradi so now what is the role of physics in this archaeology you might you might wonder now nothing but physics plays a very crucial role in the field of archaeology why because how we are studying about the human past only from the objects they use a technique called radioactive carbon dating so this radioactive dating is the important technique from this technique only we are able to analyze the age and what age people had lived there what is the age of that sample it has been identified from this radio radioactive carbon dating so there is also another research where people say that without even excavation archaeologists have found a method which The archaeologists in UK had found the wooden remains from a wooden temple 
where without even excavation they were able to identify or detect the changes minute changes in the earth's magnetic field and they could locate the remains of the wooden temple in uk so that is the reason modern technology but the usual technology what we use in uh, you know finding the this dating dating method is nothing but the radioactive carbon dating so who took this method first to you know to existence is nothing but in 1960 from the you know chemistry professor in university of chicago dr willard libby he was awarded the nobel prize in 1960 for for understanding or he had establishing he had established that all the living beings like animals plants and human beings will be one point absorbing a very weak radioactive carbon 14 from the atmosphere so this absorbing the weak radioactive carbon 14 from the from the atmosphere will be happening for ages until their death after the after the death of any living organism maybe a plant or a animal whatever any bio organism this nuclei carbon 14 nuclei will start decaying it undergoes a radioactive decay on assessing the decay of this radioactive nuclei we can detect the age of that particular you know living organism this method is called the radioactive carbon dating even in kdd excavation research also the samples whatever artifacts and samples they had taken it is now been sent to miami florida uh, florida in usa where the laboratory has a ams technique accelerator mass spectroscopy this accelerator mass spectroscopy is a particular technique which can separate the radioactive elements from the atom it can detect atom by atom also as well it is the one of the important prime usage of this ams is that you can give even a 50 mg sample just a 50 mg sample from such a small tiny sample also they will they will be able to detect the radioactive atom and detect the age so this is one of the very advanced technique uh, accelerator mass spectro uh, spectroscopy so our uh, samples which are been excavated from kiradi is sent for research there so once the research results are been re- uh, like published publicized we all will know which is the uh, you know ancient civilization and how old it is like from indus valley civilization there are group of archaeologists saying that the cultural gap of 1000 year only is there between the indus valley civilization and kiradi civilization but after the results from ams comes true then we will know we will have better clarity upon the civilization age so in this way physics is used in archaeology like this i will be giving you i will be connecting and giving you the modern uh, kind of you know connectivity between the physics and the uh, different areas which will give you more interest to study physics this is what i really wanted from all the st- you know students so never ever say that physics is boring physics is old physics is the most beautiful subject on earth with this note i would like to sign off please give your subscriptions spread to your network